Hi, this is Gavin from Lenovo Social. I'm here today with Kevin Beck, who is Lenovo Product Ambassador. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Gavin. Uh, we are in a transition here, uh, our studio, our new studio here that we're setting up, and uh, we're here to unbox the first uh, ThinkPad of 2012, one of many coming your way, and uh, it's the ThinkPad T430. Uh, Kevin, why don't you do the honors with your ceremonial knife? <laughs> All right. Uh, so. As we were discussing earlier, Gavin, this is the latest in the ThinkPad T series, the uh, sort of bread and butter uh, of the ThinkPad line. Longest in a, or the latest in a long line of uh, T series, starting back with the T20 back in 2000. Uh, T20, T30, T40, oddly enough, no T50. T60, T400, T410, 420, and here we go with the 430. Why do I think someone's gonna write back to us and say they have a T50 that they made themselves? Oh, so, uh, it's entirely possible. All right. uh, so we've got here, uh, as always, what we would call our uh, our ship group. Um, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and take the battery out so that we'll uh, put that in. And then um, your power adapter, so if you will take care of that for me. Um, Right, and there's our uh, first look at our T430. Go ahead. Yeah, those of you who are familiar with the line will notice this is not a significant departure from the T420. Uh, there are a few differences uh, that we'll call out, but from a casing and mechanical perspective, this is uh, predominantly identical to the T420. And, and very briefly, for anybody who doesn't mm -hmm. know, what distinguishes the T-Series ThinkPads mm -hmm. from, from their cousins in the W and X Series, for instance? Okay, so an X Series is a much more ultra-portable oriented line. That's your 12 and 13 inch form factors. Um, the W is cosmetically identical in many cases to the bigger brother of this, to the T500, 510, 520, 530 Series. Uh, but the W is really a workstation. Uh, higher end processors, graphics, uh, different chipset, uh, that sort of thing. And uh, when you look at putting a headline on what this new T430 is, mm -hmm. um, it's hard to not put it in the larger context of yeah. all these ThinkPad Classic models yep. that are about to come out. Again, mm -hmm. the W series and the mm -hmm. X series, right. first and foremost. Um, tell us, uh, sort of from a high level, mm -hmm. what we might be looking at for this 2012 line of ThinkPads. Okay, just some of the sort of intangible changes. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with our uh, enhanced experience, which is just basically a lot of testing and tuning, as well as a few other things that we put in to just make sure that it boots as fast as possible, suspends, resumes, shuts down as fast as possible. We've moved to uh, enhanced experience uh, 3.0 on that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, um, let's see, Dolby Advanced Audio Certification on this. On the T430, we also have Microsoft uh, Link Voice over IP certification. Uh, across the board this year, all the ThinkPads have recycled plastic content in them. Uh, they are UL Environmental Gold certified. The packaging, as you saw, is all 100% recyclable uh, and predominantly recycled. So there's some, you know, consistent messaging across the board in terms of environmental things and, and EE 3.0. Um, but you want to get into talking specifically about what's different about uh, T430 over T420? Please, yeah, sure. Okay. Show us what we've got. All right, so let's see if we can use our lazy Susan here. As we go around uh, from a port perspective, you'll see that uh, we're moving to... Uh, USB 3.0 this year. We'll have two USB 3.0s out of the four that are on this machine. The one significant change that we've made here is we've moved from uh, the full-size display port to a mini display port. Then you've got your combo uh, audio out here and your standard VGA jack. Uh, the two exhaust ports for the cooling system, power, ethernet. That is one of the USB 2.0 ports and since it is colored yellow, that's our always on USB 2.0 port so that you can use it to charge uh, okay. phones and, and music players and that sort of thing. Sure. Uh, then here we've got uh, the, th the fourth USB port, our express card slot, our uh, SD card slot, our optical drive, and this model is equipped with the optional uh, smart card reader. Nice. Okay. Right? So for and those companies that use that. Just to interject really quick, the, mm -hmm. the significance of USB 3.0, mm -hmm. faster data transfer rates, right? Is it something like 10, 10 times as fast yeah, as 2.0? Yeah, about. Yeah, okay. definitely much, much faster. Good. Okay. okay. Uh, so we'll open it up and get to uh, the biggest change that everyone's going to see for this year, which is the new keyboard. We test piloted, if you will, uh, the design of this new keyboard back with the X1 last year and uh, really got incredible feedback. So this being 
Lenovo and this being ThinkPads. It's obviously something that we take extremely seriously and something that we put a lot of time and effort and work into. So I just want to say up front, I have used this and I've been not personally involved, but been tracking the development process of it. And um, you know, the sheer amount of testing and user feedback, uh, you know, both from a, a, an abstracted level as well as a testing at an empirical level, the, uh, the focus that we've historically had on the feel and the tactile feedback and the response of the keyboard is all still here. Uh, the mechanisms are almost identical underneath uh, with a few changes, but the, the big change is really in the layout and the uh, shape. Right. Now, I'm going to interject two things yep. here. One, one is I've already heard from people on mm -hmm. Lenovo's Facebook, yep. global Facebook page and uh -huh. on Twitter yep. who are living in fear of the new six-row keyboard instead of seven. And, uh, and to, to balance that, yep. I also know that mm -hmm. Laptop Magazine called the yep. X1 yep. the best laptop keyboard they'd ever right. tested. The, uh, they, so, they or somebody said it was the Stradivarius of laptop keyboards. Right, right. Uh, so, so how do we reconcile those two things? So for here's people? my personal view on this. Uh, a large part of what made a key ThinkPad keyboard feel, and I'm not talking about layout here, but from a tactile response perspective, was the design and the testing that we did on the mechanisms that lift the keyboard. Right, so every keyboard is tested key to key, machine to machine, to make sure there's a consistent feel. That methodology is absolutely maintained. Mm -hmm. And basically what we've done is taken the sides of the keys um, and instead of doing a classic sort of canted style, we've pulled the sides in straight and it's actually made the top typing surface of the key 30% larger than it was in previous generations. Okay, so, the, so is there a productivity message along with that, I suppose, or well, fewer mistakes? Fewer mistakes okay. and the feedback on the typeability of it from the focus groups has been extremely good, right? In that uh, it may even be better than previous generations. So obviously there's some changes to the layout. Um, we've gone from a seven row to a six row. And for those of, those four of you out there who may ever watch this who may be interested, you will notice that some <laughs> of the legacy keys uh, that existed on keyboards like break, sysrec, uh, print screen and a few others are no longer uh, actively screened on this keyboard. Uh, a lot of those uh, are actually left over from green screen terminal emulation days. Okay. They are all, however, hard mapped into the keyboard. I don't know them off the top of my head, but we will announce okay. those. There are shortcuts to let you get to the keys, the function of the keys that we had removed. Correct. So now uh, every ThinkPad in the upcoming generation will have the option for a backlit keyboard. And uh, what is interesting is we've also kept the think light. So now the function spacebar function will actually cycle through uh, off keyboard low light, keyboard high light, and uh, the think light. So you, so you can light it from every angle. Is that best right? of both worlds. Disco light, perhaps. Strobe, <laughs> strobe effect. Yeah, it will hang a little disco ball off of there. Uh, so this will obviously come with the new announcement with the third generation of the Intel Core i processors, the Ivy Bridge platform. Uh, the graphics on that are up to uh, about 100% better performance, I am told. Uh, we'll have our fast boot um, that goes along with the EE 3.0. And um, and these are Intel integrated graphics, a new, a new generation right, of those. Right. We, we, we haven't talked about the processor, have we? No, we um, will continue to have Intel integrated graphics, but we will also have the uh, NVIDIA uh, Optimus discrete graphics available on selected models as well. Great, okay. And yeah, why don't you get into the uh, the processor because uh, again we're looking at at a new uh, generation mm -hmm. from Intel, right? Right. So uh, you know, simply put, this will uh, be available with the third generation of the Intel Ivy Bridge generation of processors as a platform level. That's codenamed uh, Chief River on mm -hmm. notebooks. So we'll have i3, i5, and i7 options available as well. So uh, very equivalent to the range of offerings that we had in the last generation, but just refreshed for the newer Intel processor architecture. Uh, from a, a weight and uh, size perspective, I think from an external dimension perspective, it's uh, pretty much absolutely identical to the, the previous generation. It's coming in at 4.77 pounds or one point, sorry, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here, uh, 2.16 uh, kilograms. We do not yet have final numbers as of the time we're taping this, but uh, we think the battery life is going to be even better uh, than the previous generation. We're looking at, but don't need anybody hold us to, uh, we're looking at yeah. something on the close order with a six cell battery of about nine hours, nine cell battery 15 hours, and a nine cell with an optional nine cell slice battery clicked onto the bottom of uh, around 30 hours. Okay, which is phenomenal, um, but mm -hmm. I would also add, if yep. you're working 30 hour days, you probably need to go <laughs> see a shrink or, or uh, re-examine yeah. your career choice. Yeah. If I didn't already mention it, uh, HD as well as HD plus screens. 
Uh, and then of course, all the standard durability uh, features that you come to expect from ThinkPad, the exhaustive uh, 90 plus uh, uh, drop test that we do, uh, mil spec, uh, looking at eight, same as last generation, eight mil spec uh, certifications on these machines. So not only um, uh, Keeping in, in line with the, the historical ThinkPad tradition, uh, but you know, adding a few new things every year, making sure that we keep that uh, reliability and durability that we've historically uh, aimed for in the ThinkPads. So this has been baked, frozen, dropped. I know the hinges Dusted, are tested thirty yeah, thousand times, times right? open and closed thirty thousand cycles, uh, baked, frozen, uh, humidity, dust, and uh, what I mean, about lack of humidity as well? <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's the, that's, a that's the bacon, yeah. perhaps. Yes, exactly. Um, talk to me about carbon fiber. That's something that uh, I've been getting up to speed on. I know you certainly uh, are. Right. So the uh, the top cover here is a uh, hybrid material. It's a uh, carbon fiber reinforced plastic and glass fiber reinforced plastic uh, hybrid. Uh, we use that in various forms in a number of different ThinkPads because uh, there are any number of materials out there uh, of which or which you can use to make notebook and they all have their trade-offs. Some are extremely reliable and str extremely durable. Um, like you could build one of these out of solid cast iron. Sure, sure. <laughs> but it would obviously be too heavy. So what we found for us is a, a balance of the reliability and the durability and the look and you know the resistance to both cosmetic and structural damage. Can you do that, that again? In, in the majority of cases, <laughs> you know, having a carbon fiber cover um, on our T-Series, carbon fiber and glass fiber hybrids, uh, works extremely well for us and lets us hit the price points that we need to hit as well as get the reliability and durability that we're looking for. Sure. Uh, what else? Anything else we've we've uh, neglected to cover? Uh, no, I think that just about covers it. And as always, you know, we'll take questions and give uh, as many answers as we possibly can in the comments. Yeah. Well, thank okay. you, Kevin. You're and, very welcome. And that is the uh, th the brand new ThinkPad T430. Uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.